What's going on guys, Blinkfro here, and today I'm bringing you episode 2 of my NBA Streets Volume 1 Let's Play. I don't think I necessarily need to call it Volume 1, um, but I think I'm just going to hold off on the live streaming for the time being because I'm going to be away for a couple days, so um, I'm not going to be here to live stream. And as requested for this game, we're going to add Michael Jordan to the mix, so we're going to roll with b Daddy, Vince Carter, and MJ. Kind of a cheap lineup, um, but we definitely want to get Biggs on our team. I think Biggs is the guy with the white t-shirt, um, if I'm not mistaken. And I want to say he's good at blocks, but I could be wrong because it's been forever since I played this game. I'm sure I mentioned that like a hundred times too. So, hopefully we'll get another addition to our team. This should be an easy match. Um, hopefully this is not on easy, it should be on like normal. Um, as you advance. I don't think you can change the difficulty. I think it's just as you advance it gets harder and harder So hopefully it'll get challenging soon enough And it is snowing during this. So this is pretty sweet. see what you've got I forgot he was like a British guy. Ah, easy difficulty Noob difficulty. Um, I'm not a noob except I forgot how to play and uh, yeah, maybe maybe you can call me noob there <laughs> It's been a couple days since I played this Vince Carter with the jump shot. No biggie. Let's see. I wonder who these other people are. Um, I wonder if you can unlock them later. It looks like that guy's wearing a Ravens jersey. Uh, I, I want to know what Biggs' uh, special ability is because I don't remember. Alright, MJ. Go to the hoop. No, you're supposed to... Ooh, faked him out. Sorry, Biggs. You may be big, but you just got faked out. That made absolutely no sense, so you can just ignore that. And we just blocked him. Nice. Alright, MJ, show us something worthwhile. I think they have, like, the same two dunks in this game. Whatever. Ah, get that out of here. I want to shut one of these guys out. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it here. Stop. Can I just... Ooh, faked out. Oh, I thought I was going for a three-pointer there. Nice. Took forever, but we finally got the basket in. And a lot of you guys said, uh, start playing NBA Street Volume 3 again. Um, I could do that. Might as well just finish this first since we're already two games in. Uh, since I believe this game's a lot shorter than NBA Street Volume 3, which it definitely is, without a doubt, shorter. Uh, so I'll finish this up, and then, uh, maybe we'll do NBA Street Volume 3 where I left off before. No! Okay, cool. Uh, I would play NBA Ballers. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I forgot to explain that. Um, the reason I'm not doing NBA Ballers is right after I recorded the first episode of this, I was like, alright, I'm going to pop in my NBA Ballers. We're going to record some footage, and it's going to be a nice episode. The only problem was um, the loading screens were taking forever. The cinematics weren't working properly. And whenever I tried to make my guy, it took it probably took about 15 minutes just to get to like the hat option. So I was like, yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm not doing this. I'm just gonna have to order a new copy or something. And uh, if I choose that route to order a new copy, then you know I'll go ahead and play that once I get the copy. But for now, it's just gonna be a street. And. Uh, this is no hoax, guys. I'm back. I'm back, baby. Uh, I may not be uh, back where I was earlier with all the NBA 2K13 and Madden and blah, 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 but I'm back nevertheless. Just trying to get back into the flow of things. I probably said that like a million times for every one of my I'm back videos, but this is definitely it. Uh, without a doubt, this is the last I'm back because I am back. MJ. One handed top block. Game breaker time. Do you get more points for a three-pointer, or do you get more points for a dunk? <laughs> that was a little strange. He's just posting up and then somehow manages to get to the rim. So it was 13 to nothing. Eight more points in this game's mind. With a shutout, Biggs! That's not going to let that happen. I don't think it's going to be a shutout now unless I do a lot of fancy tricks behind the back. Two turbo, one turbo, more two turbo. Gives it MJ. Drain it from deep. There we 
go. And I barely got any uh, points for that. Well, like trick points, turbo points, whatever, the meter for your game breaker. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to get it a second time this game. And yeah, we're definitely not shutting them out this time around. So let's just get some quick buckets, end this game, add bigs to our team. Hello, operator! And I can't wait to get Stretch on my team. Got with the Afro. Those are always good times. Hello, operator! <laughs> Hello, operator! The putback by Biggs. What a play. Let's watch that again. I think that's the first time we've seen a putback in this Let's Play. Could be wrong. They, uh, they go for the pump fakes way too easily. I do like these alley oops. I feel like Biggs hasn't done anything for the team. <laughs> I wonder why they insist on shooting three pointers with one hand. I'm trying to be flashy or something, but Vince Carter's having none of that inbound. Got the cheap inbound steal to the dunk. Show me what you got, Biggs. Oh, posterizes MJ. Vince Carter with the spin move and the layup. That's lame. I wanted a dunk there. Dunk it home. All right, here we go. Someone else, come up. I want to do some crazy alley oop. There we go. Oh no, the little short white dude. He messed it up. All right, come on. Break some ankles. Let's go. Where's the other guy? Vince Carter, go up. Ah, all right. No. <laughs> Trying to be flashy to end the game, but uh, Biggs is having none of that. And he's like, yeah, we're, yeah, we're going to come back in this game for sure. But I think for him, it's just a little too late. Can someone go to the basket? There we go. 21 to 6. Blink wins over Team Biggs. A nice athletic layup by MJ. Seals the deal. And now we get Biggs on our team. If I am not mistaken. And I. Uh, I'm guessing the development points is for when you create a character. So when I face the Grizzlies, it was kind of pointless to do that, I'm assuming. Because I don't have a created character. I can make one, but I'd rather just play with all NBA stars because I think it's better that way. And we're going to continue on to game numero dos. Hopefully we're going to be going up a, against a team that has some better players that we can take. Um, the Heat back then, I want to say they had Alonzo Mourning, I could be wrong. The Magic, I, I, I don't know. It's been so long. The Hawks, I want to say the Hawks have somebody, I'm probably wrong. Yeah, I was wrong. Is that Speedy Claxton? I think that's Speedy Claxton. I still remember when the Hornets traded. Uh, Baron Davis or Speed Claxton, Dale Dexter, or Dale Davis. Not Dexter. It was not fun times, but it did lead to the Hornets getting CP3. Which, uh, of course, he left, so that was also not fun times. But we got Biggs on our team. The 6'9 athletic power forward, I want to say he is. Let's do this. Let's, uh, let's take Speedy Claxton to the house. I want to say 42 is Theo Ratliff. And the other white guy, I don't know. I want to say it's Lay for Friends or Lyof for Friends. I don't know, whatever. Lay for Friends, but I think he was on. Oh, well, I know he was on the Celtics. I don't think he was ever on the Hawks. I want to know who this white guy is, though. Too easy. Easiest bucket ever. Who is that? Is that Tom Gugliotta? I don't think that's Tom Gugliotta. I think he was a lot older when he was on the Hawks. I just want to know if that's Speedy Claxton. I can't remember if he was on the Hawks or not. I know when he was on the Wizards. I mean, not, not the Wizards, the Warriors. Is that... That's not Theo Ratliff. Oh, it is Theo Ratliff. Okay. Who's this guy? Oh, Biggs. You can't just get crossed up like that. Yeah, get that out of my face. Biggs, number dose. Oh, come on. I like this big guy. Look, I can just do this whole game. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 
I can just do that all game. No biggie, right? And Vince Carter is just too easy to get to the hoop with him. A little cheap that you get him on the very first game that you play. But, uh, you know, it was well worth it. We got VC on our team. We got Biggs on our team. And we got B Diddy. Looking to get a different point guard. Someone a little bit better than B Diddy because uh, he's not the best at shooting. He's not really the best point guard, actually, at all. I just really like him. He was a good point guard back in the day. He could shoot the three. I don't know how good his jump shot was, like his two-point jump shot. But I know recently it's been <laughs> horrendous, to say the least. But uh, back in the day, it was pretty good. Except for those injuries, he would always get time and time again. And Whitey, you can't do that to me twice. It's bothering. Oh, that's Jason Terry? Damn, we gotta get Jason Terry on our team. We'll run him at the point guard. I wonder if he was good back in the day on the Hawks. Like, I didn't really watch basketball um, around this time. I started watching basketball like a couple of years later. Once the Hornets moved to New Orleans. Alright, come here. Someone, can someone go to the hoop? Otherwise, I'm just going to do this. And I apologize, I have nothing really good to talk about while I play this game. You know, on the screen it's just like, for the most part, <laughs> the same old, same old. Um... Sometimes when I talk, I just feel like I'm blabbering on and on and on. But that is a nice block by B Diddy. I highly doubt he's ever done that ever in his career in real life. But it's uh, it's fun to see that here in NBA Street. And that is why you play this game for the unrealism. Actually, this game's like more realistic than the previous NBA Street games. Definitely, definitely way more realistic. Um, Actually, this, you know what, I'm just going to go on the record saying this is realistic, except for the fact that, eh, maybe it's not realistic. I want to say, like, the people, the things people do is realistic, it's just, it's over-exaggerated. <laughs> like, them jumping extremely high, and everybody on the court can do, like, somersaults while they're dribbling, and not lose control of the ball. Who is that? Is there, like, an instant replay? This is bothering me. I'm sure, like, you guys have posted in the comments, like, 300 times by now. But, uh, clearly cannot see that. And I'm curious to see if there's other dunks. I swore that there was, like, other dunks you could do in this game. Ooh, Biggs! Show me what you got! Oh, wait. <laughs> that was only one turbo, not two. Get the ball back. Oh, no, 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 no! Get the ball back! Go Biggs, go! Ah, oh, the one-handed tomahawk. Jam! That only gives me one point. Lame. Jason Terry, you gonna be mine! You gonna be mine soon. Although I... Although? No. <laughs> Although I do like uh, Theo Ratliff. We gotta get the jet on our team, though. Oof. Oh, that that must have been like at the exact split second his hand went to the rim. It's just too easy to fake these guys out. Oh, what? That's new. A little hop step to the layup. I like it. Keeping things fresh. Ah, how'd you not block that, Diggs? Come on. You're 6 9. You could do it. Does Triangle do anything in this game? I feel like Triangle does absolutely nothing. Yeah, a little post up. Doesn't even matter because there's no post moves. You just uh, kind of throw it down in their face. Oh, the jet. You're about to make a huge mistake if you made that or took that shot. Ooh. The jet just got faked out. By B bit by B Diddy. Ooh. There we go. Some more jams. Let's end this on a high note. Three-pointer. Oh, I always like uh having Shaq on my team. I'm trying to make three-pointers with Shaq. 
yeah, I think <laughs> I think that's on a high note. <laughs> I don't think anyone in real life could possibly do that in a game. I mean, I'm sure they could, but the coach would be screaming at them from the sideline. We win. Let's get Jason the Jet Terry on our team. And who is number seven? That is the big question. It's probably someone really obvious. Tony Kukok. Oh, why did I think he was a point guard? Brevin Knight. Play for the Bobcats. Alan Henderson. Yeah, I think we're gonna get the Jet on our team, right? I think that's consensus. Consensus. I don't think we need Theo Ratliff since we got uh, Biggie. We're gonna continue onwards into the next episode. So hope you guys enjoy this. And as always, thanks for watching and tune in next.